So are you considering to list your home on the market and you just want to have your house sold, but you're afraid of COVID? So let me tell you a little bit of what I do as far as whenever we put a house on the market for you. So one of the things that I really focus on is to deliver what I can deliver. I can tell you that most of the time whenever I go to showings, most of the people would be wearing a mask. Right now, the people are starting to not wear masks because I noticed that if people who already got the shot or you know, have a little bit more protection or immunity against the virus, so we don't see everybody, 100% of the people wearing their mask. But on most showings, we do see people still wearing their mask. One of the things that I personally do to help you, uh, and then it's even worse when the property is occupied, which I fully understand, you're a little bit um, afraid of getting the virus and, and you know, it's contagious, so everybody knows. So one thing that I do, I deliver hand sanitizer. I'll always put it by the front door, and I also deliver some boots. This is what the boots look like. Um, this is a packet of, um, of 10 pairs. This is 10 pairs. I normally do anywhere between 10 and 15 pairs. Most of the time, they're not gonna be 15 people at the same time in the house people are starting to recognize agents and, and other um, visitors they're starting to recognize that a lot of people at the same time um, is, is not safe for everybody so I do deliver about 10-15 pairs of shoes for this people do not have to remove their shoes they can just put their feet right in um, it's, it's about 12 inches so most people will fit this thing even with their shoes on. So that's not a problem. And it's like I said, this is like a complete thing. So it's a total of about probably 10 pairs. So I do deliver that, leave it at the front door. Most of the time, if it's a property that is not occupied, I take my own little table. So as soon as they open the door, the table is there with the boots, the hand sanitizer, and a little sign asking them to please wear the boots and use the hand sanitizer. So whenever they um, turn on and off the lights. So it's, it's simple. And also still a lot of people are scared of COVID. So that's one of the things that I can do. Of course, I cannot remove it 100%. And that is when the house is occupied. Same thing when the house is vacant. We always uh, also put a mat on the floor so they can wipe their feet and then they use the boots and they can just walk around the house a little bit more, you know, freely. Um, stay in touch with me. If you have any questions, just let me know. I, I'm trying to do this. Not necessarily just to help the sellers sell a house, but keep in mind that there's a lot of people in the market looking to buy a house. Um, so it's a little bit self, I don't wanna sell selfish, but because I understand it, it could be a risk, but it's, um, it's important for other people to also have a house. And uh, there's so many people offering five, 10, 15 different offers in a single home. So what's gonna happen? Only one is gonna get it. So what happened to the other 10, 15 people trying to get a house? So I'm, and this is an effort to, um, it's, I'm trying to make an effort to try to get listings to put more houses in the market so more buyers can have access to those properties now that the interest rates are low. So help me help you. I'll be more than happy to talk to you. One thing that is important, if I was the seller, I've been a seller myself. So if I was the seller, if I was in your shoes, one of the things that I would wanna know is numbers. Like everybody cares about numbers. How, come I, how much can I sell your property, the property for? And what is the commission cost? And what is the closing cost? Who pays title? All those costs, I can definitely talk to you independently for each one of your properties. So we'll do multiple different numbers. One thing that I do is that uh, I do three different scenarios. What if we are at the low end? What if we are in the middle? And we're a little bit higher. I don't always try to go to the higher, higher number because I like to give good surprises. I like to stay within the market. I showed you the proof and why I think this is the high end just because that's what it shows on the numbers. And then from there, it could very well go above because keep in mind, this is a seller's market. So a lot of people are overpaying for properties. They're from what it is, what it shows on the market, what the comparison will show. People are offering more than that because they want a house with this interest rate being so low. Most of the people buyers want to take advantage of that um, interest rate. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions, would like to talk to me about your specific property, reach out to me, 972-978-8763. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.